Hello, and welcome to my very first Let's Play of Dark Souls, Prepare to Die. I will be your host today, and we are going to be starting a new game, and we are going to go on a journey together, and it's going to be fun, and we're going to die a lot. I happen to usually, if I happen to want to make a character in a game, I usually lean towards making a female for some reason. Let's go with that. Uh, as you can see here, we have a few classes. We, uh, on the left hand, you see, like, starting level stats and stuff. For the most part, you can kind of ignore that. Uh, you kind of want to look in the middle and look at the description of the classes, and I kind of lean you towards what you'd like to play. So you could kind of start however you like, if you know which kind of RPGs you want to play, what classes you sort of lean towards. Uh, I, for one, know I'm going to make be making a dexterity-based character, so I'm going to start with a hunter, starts with good stats for a dex character, and uh, gets a good start. Now for the gift, there's almost no competition with Master Key. There's other things like Goddess Blessing, the, the Black Fire Bombs kind of gets you through a few humps. Twin Humanities, I don't like taking consumables for... Uh, like any extra items you'd be able to get through the game. So let's go with the master key. Uh, neat little thing, there is one interaction with this entire old witch's ring later in the game, and we're going to get that anyway, so that's not a big deal. Uh, let's go. Do we want with average hide, or do we want holocaust victim? Let's go average. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Wind's mighty gods pulled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more.
But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Got a little backstory with the game. We'll see how this goes. I'll provide a little color commentary as things go. And now we're in the asylum. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. And let's see what part we play in the end of the world. Or can we prevent it? This is Oh, there's our character. This is my surprise face. And we'll get to meet that guy later. Probably tell him what a bro he is. For giving us our way out, as you're about to see. Alright. So if you've never played before, if you're playing online, you'll get some of these, uh, I don't know if these are offline messages, but online, people will be able to leave you messages, kind of telling you the controls. I believe these will show up offline, no matter what. So, the right bumper is a fast weak attack, or if we have our, if we hit the right trigger, it's a strong attack. Here, it doesn't look like it's doing shit. And we have a bonfire. Bonfires serve as a safe space. They allow you to level up, heals you, resets all spells if you happen to be a caster. Alright. Let's go through here. Yeah, part two. 